now that we have set up the github account the profile is set and the SSH key is installed let's use the SSH key for the same first time with tortoise git and see how we can actually um, use this tortoise git in uh, the SSH key to push and pull information from uh, from uh, repositories so um, uh, what you need to do the very first thing that you need to do, need to do is to get something just as practice from uh, github so you can actually see it's actually being uh, uh, cloned from github into your computer for that go to uh, github.com slash seneca dash 244 200 website that's where everything's going to happen uh, in your subject and we are going to actually clone the uh, op244 naaz aanf notes these are uh, the this is the repository in which you're going to see all the notes and stuff happening in my class so uh, what you need to know first of all it's a good idea to follow the organization so anything that happens in the organization is going to actually you're going to actually if there are any posting any update to repositories you're going to get it so you're not going to miss uh, uh, new repositories being published or uh, or projects being uh, released so it's a good idea to have that one uh, now let's actually uh, what we say clone the repository on our computer using tortoise git cloning a repository essentially means downloading for the first time so when you clone a repository you download it for the first time after you clone the repository then to get any new things that gets added to that repository all you need to do is to pull it so pull is download after cloning cloning is downloading for the first time so we want to clone this on our repository so we can uh, get any information that is being added to it so uh, we can uh, work on the notes and everything that's going to be in the class so uh, click on the repository to open it and now because you have the SSH installed click on the green button over here for code and make sure you select SSH not HTTPS so click on SSH and then click on the copy button over here this is going to copy the SSH URL of the repository so we click over here and it's copied then go to the directory in which you do your work right click on the repository on the directory and you will see there are tortoise options added to your uh, Windows uh, file explorer now so what you do you click on git clone automatically what you have copied will be pasted in here then what you need to do is to click on this load putty key because I have already done it before it appears over here then click on the three dots over here and navigate to the same directory in which you put your SSH key and click on the primary uh, on the private key that you have created and click on open this will tell to party from now on whenever you want to connect to github use this key to authenticate yourself over there and then I'm gonna click on OK and as soon as you click on OK because you have the key installed it negotiates the key and you have everything set up and now I have a copy of the repository right over here if you look at the repository it contains exactly what you see on the web page and if your prof changes anything adds anything over here then you will see the changes by simply pulling you don't need to download again and your directory in here will always be uh, uh, up to date after every single pull that you are doing this repository is read only so you cannot push anything to github in this repository you cannot upload anything to github because these are my notes I made it public but read only you cannot you can change it in local computer but you cannot upload the information you have in here to github